Congratulations on your decision to upgrade the suspension system in your Phoenix First Do TC1 or TL2 helmet. This video will demonstrate the 8 steps to replace the nape strap liner with a ratchet strap liner. You'll need a few tools to do the job. A pair of scissors, a utility knife, and a standard nut driver. So let's get started. This won't take long at all. Step 1. The first step is to remove the entire nape strap suspension system from your helmet shell. Place your helmet upside down on a flat surface and pull out each of the four liner attachments by sliding them up from the shell cavity hangers on the inside of the helmet shell. You might have to muscle a bit. Once you've removed the liner system, set your helmet shell aside. Step 2. Now remove the headband from the liner system by pulling apart the Velcro tabs and set it aside with your shell. Step 3. This next task is a little more involved. We're going to completely open the nape strap system and actually cut away a piece of it. You open the nape strap by detaching the Velcro tab and fully extending it. Now, hold the other end of the strap still attached to the liner. Use your scissors to cut away the strap. You want to cut the strap just below the cloth portion of the strap and the two holes in the liner shell. Discard the cut piece of the strap. So now the back side of your liner has one side with the two holes and the other side covered with Velcro. Step 4. Now remove the Velcro backing from the one side of your liner. You'll need your utility knife to cut away the stitching in the Velcro backing to expose two holes in the plastic liner. Take your time and be careful not to damage the plastic backing as you cut through each stitch. If you damage either of the holes in the plastic liner, it won't properly hold the new upgrade kit and the whole liner system will have to be replaced. Usually, however, the stitches start to pop free after the first few cuts, allowing you to sort of peel the Velcro back and away. Remove any remaining thread in the plastic backing. Good job! You're done with the scissors and utility knife. Step 5. The liner strap is now ready to snap in the four split buttons which came with your ratchet retrofit kit. There are two buttons for each side of the liner. You want to slip the button tips through the holes from the inside of the liner to the outside. The tips of each button point away from your head. Again, each button simply snaps into place. Now you're more than halfway done. Step 6. It's time to attach the ratchet strap to the buttons you just snapped into the liner. Start by laying the liner flat so the button tips are facing up. Then lay the ratchet strap over the top, lining up the strap holes on top of the buttons. Now use your nut driver to pop the buttons through the ratchet strap holes. We recommend you start with the top hole first, then the lower hole, then do it again on the other side of the liner shell. Make sure the buttons have passed all the way through the ratchet strap and the tips have reopened. You may have to apply some extra pressure on the nut driver to pop the buttons through the strap holes. You're almost done! Step 7. Now you can reinstall your headband. Remember to have the stitched side of the headband facing up into the helmet shell cavity. Slide the plastic tabs into the liner and secure it to the Velcro tabs on the liner. Adjust as needed. Step 8. One last task. Reinstall the liner system to the helmet shell. That's it. Now try it on for fit and adjust by turning the ratchet knob. You're done! Wear it well and be safe out there!